if we talk about the Warriors, or first of all, should we talk about one of their players, uh, Mr. Walsh, and his battle with Mr. Walker mm. for Rookie of the Year? Are they the two standouts? Yeah, yes. yeah, from yeah, from top, yeah, from the top of my head. I I don't think it's anyone's close from memory. Um, I haven't had a look over the teams, but Walker and Walsh. Um, it'd be a tough one. Who who do you reckon get it? I think maybe I, Walker's just ahead. Yeah, I think you got to give it to Walker. Um, just based on where the Roosters are, they've been in the top four or, or knocking on the door of the top four all season, even with <clears throat> all of their injuries. Um, for as young as he is, he, he steers that team around the park pretty well. Probably helps that you've got a pretty dominant Ford pack uh, in front of him. Question: Question: If the Warriors make the eight. Oh. And no, Dally M's is we know Dally M's is towards I think the grand final week, and the Warriors make a little run, maybe win their first game, maybe win their second, maybe might be still alive. Does that change your mind? Is Walsh then like, favourite for getting? You've, you've given me goosebumps. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gee, stop! That, that's very cruel, Blake, to to do that to Cal like that. You're talking about them winning one, two games in the finals. Oh. They've got to get there first. Oh, we're getting a bit hot in here, boys. Oh, to... <laughs> Look what you've done. Oh, this do is reckon? not on. What do you reckon? Walker or Walsh? And does it change if they can go deeper into the semi? I think it could change. He's he, he tends to be the catalyst for the Warriors. Walsh does when they're, they're playing well. He's heavily involved, um, I guess, as mm. is Walker for the Roosters, but Walsh has probably got a bit more X factor about him. Um, yeah, I mean, if I if I'm voting, I'm voting Walsh all day. Uh, yeah. Oh, gee, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make a point for Walsh. Now, with with the Roosters, you've got Walker at the half, but a lot of the time Hutchinson does the kicking. Tedesco touches the ball more than Sam Walker does during the set because a lot of it's done through the middle, through Victor Radley, through Tedesco. Now, with the Warriors, we've seen Walsh go back to fullback and Roger then started to play on the wing. Now, Roger's since left. The Warriors are still winning games. What's this? Could be third in a row. Still winning games, and he's the dominant player. He's getting his hand on the ball. Um, there isn't a Tedesco sort of in the Warriors team or a Radley. Um, that that could boost Reese Walsh's chances up. He is the lightning rod in that Warriors side. He's just about every sort of um, break on offense uh, or uh, creative play comes through him uh, when it comes to the Warriors. So he does have, I think he has a, a bigger effect on uh, the Warriors and how they play, as opposed to Walker, who is surrounded by um, some very, very good players, as you already point out. Um, so, yeah, I'm sort of leaning Walsh's way, but it's just, I, I just think Walt, Walker's going to get it. I've got one more. No, Walsh, will all, Walsh will all, also scrap a big guy for you. We haven't seen Walker scrap a big guy oh, yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all in Walsh. I used to come down. <laughs> Walsh wins by a, He's got you back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, who, who, would he, who was it on the weekend? Um, Ryan James. Ryan James. That's it. That's it.